branding. Yes. Uh, well, this this was a, this is this was a public uh, branding program in China, and it was it is still a joint venture with uh, Tsinghua University, which is probably the leading university in, in China, uh, and, and in particular with their School of Journalism, which which is one of the the, 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 the better schools of journalism in China. It really started because um, the, the Chinese government wanted to access branding skills. And it, it wanted to do that for a number of reasons. Um, for, firstly, it, 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 it was anxious about how China itself was seen as a brand uh, in the outside world. You had the rise of China, but what did that mean for the, for the brand to China? Is it positive? Is it negative? Um, how can China avoid, avoid being demonized? Um, the, 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 the dean of the school wrote a famous book um, in Chinese, the, the translation of the title, which would be The Demonization of China, which looked at how the Western media sought to portray China in a consistently negative light, often twisting and distorting you know, the facts in order to suit their own editorial agendas. The other thing which uh, which uh, which uh, uh, the Chinese government was anxious to do was to um, uh, help um, the, the the government at different levels uh, um, uh, um, um, enhance their branding skills. So, for instance, each province in China now sees itself to some extent as a brand, mm -hmm. and often those provinces are competing internally with each other. The central government is quite happy for that to happen. The province A and province B um, in, 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 in the same area are competing for tourism. They're competing for inward investment and so on and so forth. So each of those each of those provinces need brand skills. Mm -hmm. And then within a province, um, you you have cities as well. So so in in a, in a province like um, like uh, Fuzhou, for instance, you've got two big cities, Fuzhou and Xiamen. Each of them want to be a brand. So the issue is, where would all these people go? to get information and understanding about branding. And, and that was the thinking that lay behind the public branding program. So, so what we saw it as being was two things. One is a resource center where we gather together case histories about national branding, state branding, city branding from, from all over the world, um, uh, uh, and also uh, foreign direct investment branding, tourism branding, and so on. Uh, and then the second was to create a, a, a cadre of, of, of consultants who could assist those government bodies in importing that branding expertise into their activities. So that, that, that was the concept. So public branding means, I suppose, state branding, mm -hmm. if, if you like, right. that's, the best way, that's the best way of describing it. Governmental branding. Is it is it a way of, of expanding business? Yes, it is. Particularly, particularly in, a, in, a, in a in a country like China, where government is is, is an important part of the, the scene. As an quite, quite quite clearly, as for 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 not for not for any investor, um, it, it's it's uh, it's important, but it's also important in its own right. So, for instance, uh, 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 government health programs. Um, 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 are an important growth area in China, and they represent a, a potential um, source of business for for, 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 for us. Um, and of course, um, what what happened is that we we tend tend to be introduced to those parts of the government apparatus which need need branding programs. So, for instance, after the um, Sichuan earthquake, uh, the disaster Sichuan earthquake of uh, of uh, uh, two or three years ago. Um, uh, that province, and particularly Chengdu, the, the capital, need, need, needed to rebuild itself as a brand. So we've worked with the provincial government and the city government um, to, 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 to do that. So that is a, obviously a, a new business for us. Great. Yeah, great. That's fun. I understood it. Well, I, had a, I have another question that uh, is related to, to your business acceleration model. And uh, I mean, if, if if the role of the agency is that of recommending a strategic way of doing business, do you think that the profession itself has changed? I think the profession has to change. Um, because hasn't changed ha yet. It has to. It hasn't changed yet. It has to change because what it it allowed uh, to happen to itself has been really disgraceful over the last 25 years. 
So many of the schools which used to exist in, in advertising agencies have, have been abandoned or, or, or dumbed uh, out of it. Um, to give you one example, um, you know, in the past most agencies had some econometric uh, modeling capability. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, they had that in order to look at the effectiveness of what they did mm -hmm. and to demonstrate to clients whether the work that they produced was effective or not. But is it, that, is that it proved? I'm sorry. Yes, it is. And, 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 and so it's ironic that the most sophisticated work done in this area was work done in the 70s and, uh, and 80s, and there's been basically no work done in, in the last two decades at all. Why? Because uh, pressure on, 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 on compensation and so on uh, progressively um, um, meant that agencies disinvested in that area. And clients themselves, um, to be honest, became much less scrupulous in seeking proof. Um, so the cuts have hit clients as well, and their marketing departments have also become dumbed down. And, and they don't have the equivalent um, in a sophisticated way as they did uh, in, 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 in the past. So I would argue that in the last 20, 25 years, we've seen an increasing um, uh, uh, you know, uh, de-sophistication of the marketing industry and, and the advertising industry with it. Now, for the advertising business, uh, what this means is that uh, we, we, we uh, are in danger of, of becoming, if, if, if we are not careful, um, simply execution. Um, and uh, and uh, you can see that happening uh, in the way in which um, agencies are treated often by, 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 by clients. Therefore, I passionately believe we need to climb back up the value ladder. And we need to reinvent some of those things which, which uh, used to exist, but which should, which should be lost. So, about two years ago, we appointed a global effectiveness director precisely in order to encourage this sort of thinking again. Actually, I placed him in Beijing because uh, I felt that uh, he would gain most by being in a, in a fast growing part of the world where we could somehow influence the way in which clients thought about this, uh, this, 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 uh, this area. So uh, we now have a major drive um, in this, in this uh, area of effectiveness. It's not just about winning FEs, that's, that's, that's very important to us, that's one aspect of it, and actually globally we win more FEs than any other agency network. But it, it goes beyond that to, to what I call business acceleration, which is ensuring that it's not just you know, the FE entry which is gathered together and made to look very presentable to win a prize, but it's something that is rooted in the way in which you think about the uh, communication problem, that you go back beyond communications into defining what the business problem is, and then establishing what the role of communications in result, resolving that business problem um, should, uh, should, should, should be. So um, this thing called business acceleration never existed before, really, and they, those people don't exist either. We, we have to create them. We can't put an advertisement in a in, a, in, a, in, a, in, your, in your in your magazine and uh, ask for business accelerators because there are none. They've never been trained. They've, they've only just been labelled, and, and they're difficult um, to find as, as potential business accelerators. But we have some now, and I can see the, the huge benefit that they 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 give to our organisation in, in bringing back to it that that, that sense of being uh, an. Uh, of, of, uh, a partner that's important for business reasons and not just uh, an agency that creates ads and websites and mail shops uh, and so on, which is the way the whole industry has tended to trend um, during the period of fee pressure and cost pressure in the last 10 years.